What's going on, boxing fans? It's Jalen Williams with the distance. I'm here to give you my official prediction for your Yorkies Gamboa versus Rogers and Tagle. Matchup takes place this Saturday on HBO. Um, overall, it's a good fight. I'm glad to see um, Tagle get another chance and another shot. Um, this time, getting a lot of exposure from HBO. So, um, overall, this is this is a good action-packed matchup for um, both fighters. Um, Gamboa coming off of it. An impressive victory over Wybear Garcia, and like I said with Tagle, you know he came off in a somewhat of an impressive showing against Juan Manuel Lopez, one of my favorite matchups from last year, and probably um perhaps possibly some people's match of the year. So um, anyway, onto the matchup. Um, Your York is Gamboa, um, very fast, light on his feet, um, you know good good hand speed, and along with that. That hand speed, he has power in both hands. Um, in this matchup, he actually wants he wants this matchup at the center of the ring. That's really where he wants this matchup. Rogers and Tagwe, you know, when he gets you on the ropes, that's when you're kind of fighting his fight. That's when he has. That's pretty much when he has the the advantage in the upper hands when you're on the ropes against him because fighters on the ropes against him, Tagwe, he can land his wide shots. So um. Gamboa wants to keep this matchup at the center of the ring, and other than that, you know, um, Tagwe throws wild, and you know, um, and he just comes forward. So side to side movement, lateral movement, um, using you know, using his his right jab, you know, um, because his jab comes very fast. You know, using his jab, you know, um, using lateral movement, keeping the fight at the center of the ring. Um, and pretty much um, using um, some short hooks, short right and left hooks, because in between those wide hooks and wide shots that that um, Mtagwe throws, Gambo could get in between it because in between those shots with his you know with short hooks. So if he land, if he's able to land the short right and left hooks, then I think that he could actually take out Rajin Mtagwe, take him out of his game, because Mtagwe's fight. Fights, um, you know, he usually starts starts slow, but towards the end he kind of, he kind of builds momentum. So Gamboa doesn't want Intagway to build momentum, so he wants to hit. So he wants to put out that right jab. He wants to put out a right a right jab, a straight right hand. You know, short hooks. You know, he wants to. He actually wants to go to the body in this matchup, so that Intagway doesn't build that momentum, because it could take steam away if he goes to the body. And he wants to keep it at the center of the ring. He wants to stay off the ropes because Gamboa does tend to move around quite a bit. So let's hope that against Intagwe, he doesn't get himself trapped on the ropes and stuff like that. And as well, um, as well, you know, um, Intagwe's defense, he does keep those hands low. So I think the overhand right will be there. Overhand right, maybe the left cross will be there because he does kind of leave leave the right side open. Bit, so I think the overhand right's a good shot, good shot for Gamboa, and I think that the left cross is another good shot for him. But overall, that's what Gamboa needs to do in this matchup. Rogers and Tagwe, um, very sloppy style, but he has a sloppy style that works. Um, really, there's really no side to side movement with Tagwe. Um, so for Tagwe in this matchup, he does actually throw. A good straight right hand. He does throw a good straight right hand, but his power shots are just wide and wild. You know, is so in this matchup. I think that, you know, I think he needs to really use the jab. I think he needs to use the jab in this matchup. I think he needs to come. I think I do think that he needs to cut off the ring from Gamboa, because if he doesn't cut off the ring against Gamboa, then Gamboa is going to have the upper hand in this matchup. Especially if Mtagwe cannot cut off the ring. So, in this matchup, using the right jab, I think that he does really need to shorten up his shorten up his shots. He does kind of he moves into his punches. You know, he moves his body into his punches. I do think he needs to shorten up his shots in this match. But pretty much for Mtagwe, he needs to really establish a jab. He needs to establish a jab before those hooks get there. You know, because. Because on top of that, you know, if he gets Gamboa in the later rounds, you know, he's just going to get stronger. But, you know, at the same time, he wants Gamboa on the ropes because 
and he wants to cut off the ring because if he could cut off the ring, get Gamboa on the ropes, then more than likely one of those wide shots could land flush on the chin of Yori Yorkis Gamboa. And, and you know, I'm not sure. I really think that Gamboa has a strong chin. I think he, he has a good chin. But a lot of his knockdowns are flash knockdowns and stuff. So, you know, losing balance and stuff like that. But, you know, we'll see in this matchup. I think that that Mtagwe, you know, even though he does fight sloppy, I do think he's a tough, rugged competitor for Gamboa. And, and the fact is, the matter is this, is he does not establish anything off the jab. You know, everything is based on his hooks. You know, if Gamboa, I mean, if Mtagwe can jab, jab and then throw, throw his hooks, That'd be a different story, but he doesn't jab and throw the hooks. So I'm going to go with the fighter who's more fundamentally sound. I'm going to go with Yori Yorkis Gamboa. I think Yori Yorkis Gamboa is um is way too fast, has um lots of energy, doesn't wear down in fights because just like in Tagwe, he gets stronger in the later rounds. But at the same time, in the later rounds, he does tend to get a bit cocky. He does kind of keep his hands down. And he can't do that against Mtagwe because Mtagwe throws wide shots. And when and you're in, when you get cocky against fighters like Mtagwe, who's always going to come forward, who's always going to get stronger as the fight as the fight progresses, you know, it's very dangerous. So I think that Gamboa really needs to stick to fundamental boxing. I think he needs to. Um, but um, if I have to make a choice in this matchup, I'm going to go with Gamboa. I'm going to say Gamboa should win it by tenth round TKO. I'm gonna go with tenth round TKO. Um because I think that I actually think in this match of speed kills, I think Gamboa will overwhelm Mtagwe with a lot of shots. And Mtagwe probably won't be able to answer back because his hand speed just isn't as fast as Gam as Gamboa. And my que- my only question for um Mtagwe is can he time your York as Gamboa when he's coming in with so many shots? So that's that's just my thoughts for this fight. I'm gonna go with Yuri York is Gamboa, tenth round TKO stoppage. Um, think the ref will stop it. You know, um, tagway has been down quite a bit against Tomas Villa, um, who um, who I really don't know much about, but he's been been down against some um, fighters with um, he's he was down against a fighter who had a lot of popular punches, but um, you know this is a speedy fire with pop popping his punches so I think that Gamboa will win if he sticks to fundamental boxing he will I think he'll win the matchup tenth round um TKO. But anyway, that was the distance. Thanks for watching. Peace.